I've been a fan of Hunter x Hunter and fighting games both for a really long time, so hearing that Hunter x Hunter was going to get a fighting game had me very excited, to say the least, but also very, very cautious. There have been a lot of really mid arena fighters in my opinion. Here's what got me really excited. When I heard it was going to be a 3 vs 3 fighter made by Aiding. Now for those of you who don't know, Aiding is the developer behind some of my favorite games ever. Specifically, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. I saw that there was a trailer out and obviously I want to watch it. All going to be in Japanese and there's going to be no subtitles unfortunately since there is no official English trailer, but we might as well start right now. Yep, there's the 3v3. All the characters we've seen before already. Uvogin? Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect him to show up. Of course, he's fighting Kropika in the uh, Abyss. That's pretty awesome. Um, oh, I like Kropika doing this weird, like, forward dash move. This is crazy. Not Kropika. Kill one. Oh, and Machi as well. I like how they got the, the Phantom Troop together. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Oh my god. Akilo has got this demonic looking... Um, Captain Corridor attack. Oh my god. Oh, he's got Bionic Arm. I mean, yeah, Bionic Arm, like Spencer, Spider-Man web combos. Netero looks- oh. The wall bouncing. The wall bouncing. Okay. It's so cool that Uvo games in this game. That's so cool. Okay. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of fun little Marvel things here and there. I'm liking this. Oh, the supers look a lot more cinematic too, which is cool. I wonder I wonder what going super is going to be, guys. Oh my god. First off, Uvogini Machi. Really cool. Really did not expect this at, at all. This is cool. I also wanted to bring up just the shmovement. The shmovement was nice. Like... Kilua doing this like kind of Akuma-esque teleport. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> a lot of characters are very similar Marvel archetypes in my opinion. Like I said, um, oh that's that's crazy. Yeah, that dash, the dash. Oh, he kind of did the Iron Fist palm move there. Like Hisoka is such a it, it makes perfect sense. He's a lot like Spider-Man, very quick. You get the re-grabs, and Netero's interesting. Netero's almost like a like a summon character. Jin Saotome, who, for those who don't know, was a Marvel 1 and 2 character who had a lot of, uh, he had a mech, and he would bring in his mech for like specials and stuff, but the mech is more integrated using uh, Netero's uh, Nen. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, and Gon having, he literally has bionic arm as the super. I will say, I did see a clip of Leorio doing the most foul combo uh, to Gon. I'm going to put it up here if I can find it, because that was so nasty. It was so nasty, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. And it was like a sandwich combo with his uh, emitter uh, Nen attack. So crazy. So crazy. I like this card shower. The card shower, you know, that's a classic Gambit Marvel 1 super classic. That had a lot of potential. I do wish that we saw Machi do stuff. I do wish we saw Machi do stuff. And Uvo, actually. Uvo, I'm, I'm really curious how he's gonna fight, because he's got, obviously, the scream attack, he can spit out stuff, so he's got projectiles, he's got an area of effect, and he's obviously like a burly, you know, super, you know, just macho dude. Is he gonna be like a, a Hagar or a Zangief role? Because what grappler, he could be a grappler, I mean, that's not too shocking to me. Machi is really interesting, is she gonna be like a trap character? That wouldn't be unbelievable. Maybe she would play a similar role to like Trish in Marvel 3. Because obviously she could use a bunch of her strings as traps. You know, that's a very easy sort of way to do that. That's crazy. That's crazy. And she's also super fast. Um, maybe she would be kind of like Strider. I don't know. That's really interesting. 
Leorio, I think, is the weirdest one because um, of his his emitter net attack. He's obviously gonna have a bunch of like, oh, I have to hit the ground to do this. I have to hit the ground to use this attack, which is very similar to Iron Fist, in my opinion. He's a character in Marvel Three who could only use a lot of his attacks while he was on the ground uh, to sort of centralize his chi. Um, I think that was the explanation for it. Uh, so that's really interesting, but obviously for him, Iron Fist, he's not like a, a projectile heavy guy, but Leora's whole thing is projectiles, but he has to impact the ground to use them. That's interesting. I, I don't think there's ever been a character like that in Marvel, which has me really excited. And I don't know, Gon and Kilo have really interesting, just weird, weird things. Like Kilo's little approaching, you know, incoming dash, that's fun. I love the Captain Corridor lightning bolt attacks that he does. I'm thinking, is he gonna have like a Godspeed uh, lightning install? Maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. This is a lot. There's a lot here. I'm liking it. Like, I'm seeing some Marvel archetypes. I did notice something really interesting actually here earlier in the video. When Gon used his super, there was a really obvious wall splat animation. Uh, I'm just gonna play it frame by frame. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this just in case it makes any noise. See that boom right there? That wall splat. A specific boom. You can't really see it behind this render, sadly. But that that animation, the forward lunging animation, is straight out of Tatsunoko and Marvel Three. That is one to one. That gives me a lot of hope. Like I said, Marvel Three, one of my favorite games ever. Love that game to death. Genuinely, it's kind of what got me into the genre of fighting games in the first place, and and I guess Marvel at the same extent. So this is this is crazy. I am I'm pretty impressed. 